To take full advantage of clean URLs, I highly recommend the Path Auto module, which automatically generates URL aliases based on a pattern system that can be custom configured for all content types. The Path Auto module requires the Path module to be activated, which handles the Path aliases. Um, this is built into Drupal's course, so it does not need to be installed. And the newest version of Path Auto, which is 2.0, also requires the Token module, which controls the custom pattern system for the Path Auto aliases. To configure Path Auto, navigate to Administer, Site Configuration, and Path Auto. Depending on which version of tokens you are using, you will more than likely see some of these warning messages that are showing up here at the top. And that's fine, we can certainly work around that. First of all, under General Settings, um, there's really not much you need to change here. Um, the separator is set to Dash, which we will leave at that. And if you want to add any stop words to the list, this is where you would add them. They will be removed from the titles whenever you create the aliases. Under punctuation settings, you want to make sure that hyphen is selected as replaced by separator. You don't want to remove hyphens during the path auto aliases because it will conflict with um, the word separator that we've set above in the general settings. Under Node Path Settings, I'm going to change the default pattern to term alias slash title dot html. And what this will do is anytime you create any type of node page, it's going to take the term alias, which will be set below under Categories, and that will be your directory. And then it will add a slash, and the title of the node will become the URL for that particular page. And if you scroll further down, you can see the list of all the tokens that are available for your, your, for your pattern system. Essentially what we have done is we have taken the node title, and the term alias and have created our URL aliases based on this. Below under category path settings we're simply going to remove everything except for category path dash raw. What this does is take the taxonomy term that's attached to each node including its supercategories, and create directories based on, on the terms you have selected. If you want to util utilize the Path Auto module on an existing site, you will need to delete all the existing aliases and perform a bulk update to generate the new aliasing structure. To do this, navigate to Administer, Site Building, and URL Aliases and click on the Delete Aliases tab. Here you can choose which types to delete in bulk. In this case we'll click All. Delete Aliases Now. Next return to your Path Auto Module settings. And check the boxes for bulk generate aliases for nodes that are not aliased. And this can be found under your node path settings tab. And under your category path settings. By default, Path Auto will only generate 50 aliases per content type in a bulk update. And you can change this in the general settings tabs based on your needs and your server speed.